Hey, this is Leo with a sneak preview of the upcoming Xbox MD integration in Ableset. The Xbox MD is a handy device that allows you to automatically switch between multiple sources of digital audio. This is especially handy for redundant playback setups. To demonstrate this, I've set up a project that outputs a pilot sine wave on channel 32, which represents the first half of the Dante port. And I have another computer sending the same sine wave on channel 64, which represents the second half of the Dante ports. As soon as Ableset detects that an Xbox MD is connected to your network, it will display its status in the setlist view and also in the performance view. You can click on it to see more details about it. So for example, we can currently see that we have a priority on Net1, which is the first half of the Dante ports. We can see that we are getting a pilot tone on the first half of the Dante ports, which is channel 32. And we can also see that we're getting a pilot tone on the second half, which is channel 64. To change the priority, we can just click on one of the ports or we can switch it to auto, which will always latch onto the last active port. Now I'm gonna set the priority back to the first port. And then just for demonstration purposes, I will disable the pilot tone of my first port. And you'll see that immediately the status indicator starts flashing red. You can see that there is no signal on the first port. And you can see that even though we have priority on the first port, the Xbox MD is currently using the second port to output audio. As soon as I turn the pilot tone back on, the Xbox MD will switch back to the first port. Now, in theory, you could set up more than one of these redundant setups. For example, if I wanted to set up redundancy on MADI, I could just turn this on and this will then be added to the status overview. If you'd like to get to the settings of the Xbox MD itself, you can just click on the title and that will open a new tab with the configuration interface of the Xbox MD. I hope you find this feature helpful. If you have any further questions or feedback, please let me know in the comments below and I wish you a great day.